All right, hey, guys, Lake Speed Jr. here at Shaper Specialties again, and I've just got to share what's going on. This is kind of nuts, so bear with me on this. So we've got the engine running. I'm going to flip it around, you see. All right, we got our little motor running on the dyno. We're running a, a new oil, or an R&D oil, the 20W50 non-synthetic oil. Um, and so we're getting ready to make a dyno pull, and what we're going to do here is, let me flip it around so you can see that again. Um, there's our temperatures and everything. So what I need to do right now is I need to record the temperatures. So we're going to have a starting temperature of about 173 and 264 on the oil. Okay, so super simple here to, to run this dyno. Kind of love it. Push start. Hit D. Cool's about to happen. Three thousand to six thousand RPM. Now we go over here to the dyno graph. Okay, we got a red line and a blue line. The red line is the oil we just ran, which is the 2050 non-synthetic R&D oil. The blue line is a 10W40 high zinc synthetic oil that we've run in the past. This is the, on the exact same engine, exact same cam, and everything. Now here's where it's going to be super interesting. We're gonna pull up the temperatures here and the oil pressure. Okay, so the middle line is the coolant temperature. So we have the exact same coolant temperature between both runs. Now here's the top one. Here's your oil temperature. The red line, the 2050, is running cooler than the blue line, which is the 10W40. When you look down to the oil pressure, the 2050 is making more oil pressure than the 1040, like you'd expect. But the mind-blowing thing here is the 2050 is running cooler. A mineral oil is running cooler than a synthetic. I have never seen this before. It's absolutely crazy. Now let's go back to the dyno graph again, the power graph. And that bump in the, the blue bump right here is due to the fuel. We ran that per previous test in December. So that's winter blend gasoline that's got ethanol in it. That hump right there is just the fuel. We've seen this a million times. I mean, if you don't believe me, this is our, our notebook of dyno runs here. Uh, I know I'm doing this one-handed, but bear with me. Look at all of these pages. Those are all dyno runs. I mean, we've got a million bazillion runs on this engine on this dyno with this stuff I, i'm sorry i just had to get in and show you this i've never seen something like this before it's blowing my mind I, I do think i have an idea why i formulated both oil so i do know what's in them and i'm just surprised by what a difference that slight change in formulation has made so pretty excited I hope y'all are having a great day. Sorry to interrupt and geek out on you, but I just felt like I had to do it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.